Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. It's Thursday, um, it's like 8.35. I don't have like a particularly super busy day, but I do have a lot of stuff going on. Um, I went for a walk with my mom this morning. I think that might be our new routine, like a Tuesday, Thursday walk, because now that I'm not really teaching in studio those days, I don't move really, except for teaching on Zoom. So we went for a walk. I'm taking a class at nine. I have a private at 11. I have a class at one. And then I am teaching tonight in studio, 3.30, 4.30, 5.30, 6.30. So big day. Um, right now I'm gonna just maybe wash my face and put on some makeup, but I wanted to say, hey, there's like so many exciting things happening in my world right now. I'm changing platforms for my live Zoom classes, changing um, over to Talent Hack, and I'm really excited for that. It's just, um, I've got a little bit of work to do so that we can get everybody um, migrated over and um, that's gonna happen when this vlog goes live, everything will have happened. So that's super exciting. Um, I'm really excited to be working with them and I think that it's gonna be um, a really good partnership and I think they're really gonna help me do all the things that I wanna do with my Zoom classes and with my um, virtual stuff. So I'm really excited for that. That's like one of the biggest changes coming. Second biggest change is obviously, I, not obviously, but like I'm moving and it's coming up real quick. Um, I'm about a month out, when you guys see this, three weeks out from my last day teaching in person. I could cry at any moment. <laughs> So far I've had like my first big anxiety cry um, of the move. So we've gotten that out of the way there. I'm confident there's more to come. Um, our lease at this new place literally starts on Saturday. And um, when you guys see this, I will be going out to Denver the next day to help the fiance move and maybe we'll get our first moving vlog. We'll see. I'm gonna have a lot of time there for myself. So we'll get our first moving vlog next week. So lots of big things happening. I'm super excited, but I need to get a move on or else I'm gonna make myself late and we don't want that. Also, I'm like super upset. My Osei Malibu um, face wash, it's like at the end of its life, I need to get a new one or get a new face wash. I was so lucky they sent me a bunch of stuff for they sent me a bunch of stuff like for free and uh, I've been using this for, I don't know, maybe three months and um, I unfortunately did not get more face wash for free, but that's okay. That's my own fault. Probably because I don't post about it on TikTok. It might be. know this but I I wash my hair once a week so I do that usually on Friday or on Saturday so by Thursday my hair is like greasy and disgusting but like low-key I kind of like the slick back bun look I'm feeling very like Sarah's Day-esque because she always does like a slick bun but yeah anyway so on other news of huge things that I have to do in the next like two weeks, I need to finish up my hours for my 500 hour training. Um, and my goal was to do that this week, but I just like have not been able to really get in the rest of my observation hours that I need. I have like 10 more that I have to do. So my goal is to have like <laughs> all of those hours done by next Thursday. That's my cutoff date for myself. I can absolutely do it. I just have to kind of buckle down, but we're right there with that. Um, let's see, other than that, move is the big one. Um, I don't know, I think that's kind of it. What's going on with you guys? Like, how are you doing? I feel like I haven't vlogged, like I love the vlogs because I get to really like talk to you guys in the comments and it's like, I really feel like we get to connect. So that's super, I love that a lot, actually. I, on the note of needing new face wash, I also need to go to Sephora and replace my daytime face moisturizer. I need to get a new SPF. I need to like actually get a lot of stuff that I've just been putting off, but really like the catalyst is the face wash. Um, and I'm also putting it off because we're gonna be spending so much money on this move. I'm like trying not to spend money anywhere else. And I just like spent a lot of money on clothes and 
winter jackets are super expensive and I'm just not ready. <laughs> like every time I look at my bank account, I get sad. Anyway. Anyway, you guys. Just got back from taking class. I stopped at Starbucks. They gave me my egg white bites in this oatmeal cup. So that was kind of weird. Um, I also, my drink doesn't taste quite right, but. I asked for it with two pumps of pumpkin and I don't think the pumpkin made it in there, but that's, is what it is. I just paid an extra $5 for nothing. Um, I had somebody request that I post my outfit details on my Instagram post. Do you guys, um, first of all, A, do you follow me on Instagram? And if you don't, will you please go follow me on Instagram? I actually share, like, I actually share a lot on Instagram, Pilates workouts and like other stuff. I'm worthwhile to follow on Instagram, but somebody had asked me if I would start including my, like, my outfit details because of the cheetah print set that I wore the other day. And I'll put a picture of that right here, but people were really into that. Oh, but I was gonna ask a question. Would you guys want me to include my outfit details in my videos too? Because I'm happy to do that. I probably more in my workout videos because in my vlogs, I wear like 10 different outfits, but yeah. Would you like for me to do that? I'm not like, you know, obviously I'm not a fashion influencer. I I'm barely a fitness influencer, but I'm happy to share that stuff if you guys would want to see it. Also, I had a new video go live about how to get back on track where literally for 10 minutes, I'm like, just stop thinking that there is a track to be on and then you'll be back on track. Um, it's getting views, a lot of views. Highest viewed video of my last 10 uploads for sure. So that's cool. Hopefully it does well. I've been like, not struggling, but my videos haven't, like none of my videos have performed as well as that one video I posted in February about how, um, about how like Pilates changed my body. I'm like obviously trying with every video to get a little bit better and all of that, but damn, YouTube's like just, it's hard shit. I'm hoping this core workout that I posted yesterday like blows up because a lot of people said it was really hard. I actually got comments that were almost like kind of mean saying it was super hard. Like they were like, um, you need to, you should indicate that this is like an advanced class. I'm like, honestly, I didn't think it was that advanced, but if you feel that way, I'm happy to put something in the description. But I'm hoping that that video like continues to perform today because it's it was like a pretty solid workout. Also, does anyone else like obsessively check their emails when they order stuff online and like they are like obsessively tracking the package because I had, I've had these two packages that have said that they're going to be delivered like in the last three days and they keep getting delayed. I'm just like, I want, I got two pairs of shoes, two booties because um, one of mine, uh, well, not one of mine, but I have one pair of booties and they're broken, so I need to toss them. Time to do a little bit of makeup. I always start with, I have this like Tula, it's a cooling, cooling and brightening eye balm. I need to replace it because it's probably almost two years old. So when I do my Sephora trip to rep <laughs> replace all this shit, I'm gonna spend a lot of money because I wanna get something like this. Also, I just put it on my eyelid, it's almost like it's almost kind of like a shimmery eyeshadow, but I also put it under my eye and then I just kind of like dab it out with my fingertip so that my eyes don't look so sparkly. 10 out of 10, recommend that. Um, I got a lot of trolls commenting on my TikToks that I need to tone down my eyebrow um, makeup. So <laughs> I've been doing that, not because I think that the trolls are right, but maybe they are, you know? you know? So uh, instead of going in with two eyebrow pencils, what I've been doing is doing a little spoolie brush on my eyebrows and then using the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I do this first. Okay, so blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, I don't, I'm like, can I do my eyebrows in the viewfinder? I don't think I can. I'm not that skilled. But like, I just try to go over it with like a pretty light hand, right? Like nothing crazy. Cause 
Like you guys, my hair is pretty dark. Also, you guys, I think I'm gonna get rid of the red in my hair. I'm kind of over it. I really like having dark hair, so I'm gonna try and keep that. But the red, I think, I don't know. I'm just not into it anymore. Okay, so I do this like with the, with the pencil. Then I brush it out again. You know, brush through any mistakes that I made. And then I use the, I've been just using the brow gel from Pixie instead of using a second pencil. And I think that ends up looking a little bit less crazy. Like it's definitely not as dark. A little more natural, but you can still like see my eyebrows. Cause that's the biggest thing. Like I, like my hair is dark, so my eyebrow should match that at least a little bit. And I feel like without doing my eyebrows, you lose like my facial features. So, all right. And with that, I'm ready for the rest of my day for my private, my class. And I'm going to try and film at least like one video before I go into teach later. More super exciting things on my end. Uh, I've been talking with somebody about, uh, teaching some uh, like virtual Matt Pilates classes um, in like a corporate setting, like to businesses, which is super exciting. That's, I mean, my, obviously my goal with like doing virtual stuff is always to make this like sustainable for myself and teaching classes at a corporate level is like doing like corporate one, what does that make sense? Like, you know, like if your job wanted to offer you a, a virtual mat class or something, like that's always been something that I wanted to do. And finally I got in contact with somebody that um, does that. So I'm super excited. I just got off the phone with her. Um, I've got a class here in about 20 minutes or so. Um, so I'm gonna work on that routine. I've got some good ideas. The fun part about like the people that are coming to my classes right now, a lot of them have been coming since January. So they kind of know the drill and I can throw some weird stuff at them and they like take it in stride. So we're gonna work on some stuff for class. I'm right at that routine right now. I've got about 20 minutes. Just got finished teaching class. It is 1.55. I'm eating a snack. It's so funny. Like I've, I've tried a lot of different like uh, meal things this year. Like, and I think what I found works best, especially with me moving my body so much throughout the day, is that more smaller meals work a lot better. Um, just so I can have sustained energy and not feel like I ate so much that I can't move because that's a problem. Um, so I'm having pretzel crisps. I've got some sharp cheddar cheese slices and then garlic hummus for my snack. Um, I had my egg white bites earlier. I had a cliff bar earlier too. So it's been a snacky kind of day. And I think honestly, a snacky kind of day works better in my life. <laughs>
it's Saturday morning. I it's about 8:20. I just got home from taking a class um, in studio. I'm teaching a class at nine. I already kind of have a plan for that. It's gonna be pretty chill, but like still challenging. Um, and then aside from that, this morning, I'm gonna try and hustle my butt out the door so I can go observe a class, actually observe two classes, and then I'll come home and uh, my mom and I are gonna hang out today. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I went to Starbucks on my way home from class and got coffee and egg white bites. And uh, like today's a super exciting day because today, my fiance and I officially live together on paper. Like our lease starts today at our new place, which is super exciting. Um, but I just bought us new sheets and an espresso and bedding, which is really exciting. So those are gonna be there soon. And then next weekend, I'm gonna be there to move us in. I'm gonna be honest, those egg white bites were kind of cold. Usually they're like piping hot and they like burn my mouth a little bit. Those were kind of lukewarm. Didn't love that. Still tasted really good, so I'm not mad about it, but I am kind of mad about it. three of you so i'm just assuming everyone's gonna wait right until the hour wednesday hi haven't seen you in so long <laughs> yeah <laughs> good yay i'm happy to hear it okay we're waiting for one more so we'll give it like i don't know 30 seconds or so and then we'll just go ahead and go my brother's girlfriend, so I know she's coming. She's just, you know, gonna take her sweet time. Up to you, however you wanna take it. You can try both and then see how it goes. If your hips are especially tight, I'd, I'd maybe bend the knees a little bit. Arms are gonna reach out in front of you. We inhale, sit up nice and tall. Instead of rolling all the way back, we're gonna roll back about three quarters of the way. So exhale, roll it back. You're gonna inhale there down at the bottom and then you'll exhale, roll it right back up. going to go hang out with my mom. We're going to go see a um, theater performance and here is my outfit. Lots of jewelry going on. Got my tan bodysuit, got my Abercrombie jeans, Troy Birch sandals, my rings, all that good shit. I feel like simple, casual, but also elevated. Hello. Okay, so it's like 6.15. I went to Sephora. I also went to DSW and CVS. Um, so I got a lot of things at Sephora because I realized that there were just a lot of things I needed to replace. So here we go, a little Sephora haul. Um, first and foremost, the reason I went to Sephora in the first place was to get this YSL um, bare look tint that was recommended to me by 
the best person ever, Jane Simmons. Um, I got this because we're going to a wedding in a couple weeks and the foundation that I got back in April for the wedding that we went to, it's not, it's not a good match. So she recommended this to me because well, Jane recommended this to everybody and I was influenced by it and I bought it. So, but I went there so I could get color match. So we got this, very excited for that. Um, I got a new daytime moisturizer by Herbivore. It's called Pink Cloud. It looks like this. I'm not a, I don't know anything about beauty. I had to get a new cleanser. We talked about this already. I got the Youth to the People Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. Okay. Um, next up, I got a little like eye cream to brighten and deep puff by Origins because I have a like a stick right now that I use from Tula, but it's probably almost two years old and I think I need to replace it. So I got that and then I got my favorite $26 lip balm by, Sh <laughs> by Fresh. <laughs> they didn't even have the kind that I like. They didn't have the kind with SPF in it, but I love this shit so much. I love it so much. It's my favorite. Yeah, this is the best best lip balm ever if you are willing to spend $26 or $28 however much it is um I'm really excited for this I always like whenever I spend that much money at Sephora I'm like holy shnikes like what happened here but I would always rather spend money on my skincare than like anything else really look how cute it is yeah, so that was $200 down the drain. Now I'm hanging out at home, I'm eating a snack, I'm gonna watch you, and I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, you guys are awesome, you can do anything you put your mind to, and I will see you in our next video. I just get resistant. You got me